Hi, uh, welcome to this video. So, uh, we're going to do a little bit of sound design um, in this one. I've been sort of trying to recreate um, the sounds from Da Funk by Daft Punk using just the deluge. Uh, I, don't, I did quite a good job of doing it on my MS-20 and my uh, TP-03, but I thought, okay, here's my challenge to try and do it just on the, the deluge. So I've kind of got close. It's not perfect, but it's close. So, uh, if we have a listen, I've got a little drum pattern in. Um, and then we'll bring the lead line in, which I'm going to show you how to create in this video. Bit of bass. And so on. And I just kind of like made that other little sound that goes in the song. Um... And what I'm going to do in the next video, so I'll keep these quite short, is I've also created the 303 line in here, which is this. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you how to do the 303 in the next video. Um, so for now, we're going to just do the, uh, the lead sound, which is this. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to start with a completely new song. Uh, we're going to start with a new synth, like so. Uh, we're going to use both oscillators. So oscillator 1 is going to be at 50. Oscillator 2 is also going to be at 50. Um, we're going to have them both as the analog saw. And a lot of this sound comes from uh, sort of the detuning of the, um, the oscillators. So oscillator 1, we're going to transpose up an octave. And then oscillator two, we're going to create a perfect fifth, which is seven semitones up. Okay. Um, cut our frequency, we're just going to have at 13 for now. So we're not just going to hear anything for, to start with until we do some stuff with the envelope, okay, because it's pretty much got rid of it. And the resonance is going to be at 23. Okay, so we're still not going to hear anything yet. So what we're going to do with the uh, cutoff is we're going to patch that in to envelope 2 and we're going to dial that in to about 30. Okay, so we're starting to get a bit of the sound now. Envelope 1. Attack's going to be 0. Um, am I on the right envelope? Yes, decay. I had it 32. Full sustain and we're going to full release. Again, you can tweak these to your taste as you wish. Envelope 2, which is obviously going to be modulating uh, the cutoff frequency. We're going to have... Because we want this like a wow, wow kind of sound at the beginning. So we're going to have an attack of 30. And we're going to have a decay of 30. And we're going to have zero sustain. And we're going to have a release of about 40. Okay, so we're nearly there with it. Um, I, as far as I'm aware, from what I've uh, read and seen in places, the original sound was done on an, on an MS-20. What you can do with an MS-20 is take the output and of the synth and put it back into the input so it kind of distorts on itself. Obviously, we can't do that on here. But to give it a bit of dirt, we're just going to give it some saturation, which I had at 6. And that's kind of pretty much it. Which is really loud, so I'm sorry. I'm just turning down a little bit. And that's kind of the sound. Obviously, you can tweak it. Uh, you know, you can tweak your resonance. So. Uh, that's how to make the uh, kind of a rough version of the uh, lead line from Da Funk by. Um, Daft Punk, and I say, so what's going to come up in one of the forthcoming videos is the uh, the bass part, the uh, 303 part, which is this. Okay, so that's making the deluge sound uh, 
rather like a DB303 to a certain extent. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming up uh, fairly soon, hopefully in the next few days or within the next week once I get around to recording that. And uh, I'll see you in that one. So if you've got any questions or comments on this one, then feel free to stick them in the box below and also any suggestions for future videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share the videos around, click on the bell on the... Uh, the page so you get notifications when i upload new videos and go check my music out on all digital streaming services thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one